Well, diversification is a common management strategy that blends different investments in an attempt, rather, to reduce the exposure of risk that comes with investing. Now, Dave Evans from Evans Financial Group joins us to talk about this particular investing management strategy. Dave, thanks so much for being here today. Appreciate I'm excited it. to learn about diversification because I don't know a whole lot about it. I guarantee you that a lot of people don't either. So okay. tell us what it is. Let me explain it in a simple uh, form, and that is it means don't put all your eggs in one basket. How about that? Okay, I can <laughs> so, follow that. So um, <laughs> generally, you're spreading your, your investment portfolio over a lot of different investment type classes. And when you do that and, and well, you know what the mix is, is a, a function of your typically your age and your propensity to risk. But doing um, its diversification is important because people are living longer. And as a result of living longer, your assets have to last as long as you do. One of the number one fears that people have in retirement is having more life mm -hmm. than they have money. So uh, you have to kind of budget your, your money out and diversification will help you do that. Uh, the second thing is a lot of people don't know a lot about investing. Um, and at, again, typically when you get older, uh, you want to have a, um, a mitigation of risk, meaning uh, modified or eliminated or something. Um, and the blend of your investment strategy uh, may change based on your age, again, and your propensity to risk uh, to do that. But also, uh, it, it, it lowers the, um, the highs and the lows uh, by spreading it out. But what it's not, and I had someone in a, um, had an opportunity to visit with someone, they said, oh, I'm diversified. I have these, these different mutual funds, and they had three different growth funds. And upon a little bit of research, I said, these three growth funds are all invested in the same stocks. So you're not diversified. You just happen to have three different funds with three different names, uh, but, that's, but they're all doing the same thing. So uh, it's really over uh, different asset classes, and it could be stocks and bonds and, and so forth. Um, and, and the last thing um, that it does in terms of, of um, your wealth is ideally gets you into having income and monies that are income tax free. Okay. And a way to do that uh, early in your life would, might be to have Roth IRAs, which you don't deduct, but grow income tax free. And then when you get the money out, the money comes out to you income tax free. And income tax free is a lot better than paying taxes. Um, so you're, um, you're doing IRA, let's say IRA Roth, or even if your 401k has mm -hmm. a Roth option, that, that would be an ideal way to do it uh, as well, to have less taxes coming in or having to pay in retirement years. Okay, I'm sitting over here taking mental notes because <laughs> I've learned a lot in just these few minutes. So that's why we're so happy that you were here with us today talking a little bit about this. Now, quickly, if you had to give us your top three recommendations on what to invest in with your diversification, what would be the big three? Uh, well, it's going to be a function of stocks and bonds or income type products. It's just how much. And again, the, the, uh, the standard investment uh, portfolio is 60-40, 60% stock, 40% bond and or income type uh, uh, products. But that, that, misc, uh, excuse me, that risk, that number changes as you get older. So maybe if you're in your, you know, in your 60s, you might want to say, okay, I'm going to break it down so I don't have as much risk on the table. And maybe it'll only be 20% stocks and 80% into income or bond type uh, investments to to change the uh, the you know your risk out there so we don't have a downturn in the market and you have all your portfolio at risk. I gotcha. So it's it's really just a uh, a blend, you know, a standard. There's lots of different asset classes and there's lots of different stock classes, but uh, just to have it blended so it's it's uh, based on your age and uh, how much risk you want to take in the market. Good to know. We're learning all kinds of new things, Dave. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today to talk about the importance of diversification, and we appreciate your time, Dave. Thank you very much.